Good evening, I'm George Mallet. Welcome to the Now Milwaukee. At the risk of editorializing, I think you're really going to like this next story. Wisconsin has a new tool in the war against invasive species. As Scott Steele shows us, this new tool has four legs and an incredibly sensitive nose. This is a tale about a dog named Tilia. Tilia is in training here at the Mequon Nature Preserve. Good girl. The state's first on staff conservation dog. Okay, this way. An idea to enlist a new breed of soldier. Okay, let's go. At the front line. Good job. In the war on invasive species. Oh gosh, every nature center, every DNR agent, everyone working in this field, in this discipline, they're gonna have a dog right by their side. Because a person's gonna be able to sight it and, and see some, but that dog is smelling the roots, it's smelling the seeds, it's, smell, it's smelling where it's spreading. It's incredible. Oh, good girl. Tilia takes her work seriously on the job. Anytime she's in her uniform, this blue vest. Good girl, yes. We'll have to pay you for that. And even in a field of 45 varieties, she can learn to target everything from teasel to wild parsnip, preventing it from overrunning more desirable native plants. It's amazing that that dog can go around and find one specific plant in a prairie that's, you know, five, six feet tall and 40 different species. Eventually, it won't be all work and no play. Come here, Tilia as this beautiful one-year-old chocolate lab will also serve as an ambassador, roaming around greeting guests in between assignments. An outreach tool that's sure to attract a lot of attention. In Mequon, Scott Steele, today's TMJ4.